Welcome back to This Is A Commander channel, where this is a Commander channel, and today I'm going to talk about Commander Tough Rules and Cool Interactions, episode 28. Today's episode is going to take a look at an effect that has been around in Magic for a long time and sees play on very powerful cards like Gilded Drake, but the mechanic was also just printed on a new card in the Baldur's Gate set with the card Modify Memory. So let's take a look at what it says. Modify Memory is a blue sorcery that says exchange control of two target creatures controlled by different players. If you control neither creature, draw three cards. What prompted me to make this episode is that while I was in a Judge Discord server, I saw some debating as to what would happen in a situation involving an exchanged permanent and a threatened type effect that you'll see on cards like Act of Treason, which is a red sorcery that says, gain control of target creature until end of turn, untap that creature, it gains haste until end of turn. So here's the situation. You cast Modify Memory, targeting your own Torrential Gearhulk and your opponent's Blightsteel Colossus. In this particular case, the actual creatures themselves are not important or relevant. Just for the names. So now your opponent has your Gearhulk and you have their Colossus. But then you cast your Act of Treason, targeting the Gearhulk to get it back again. The question then became, what happens to the Gear Hulk at end of turn? Does it go back to your opponent or does it stay with you, the owner and person who originally had control over it before the exchange happened? The one person's logic here was that the Gear Hulk should stay with you. The Act of Treason's control effect overrided the exchange and once lifted, it'll just stay with you, the original controller. For some of you, this may be an easy answer, but for many of you, the wording on the cards may not make it clear as to what happens. Some of you may know the answer, but now that I've read the situation here, there might be a bit of doubt as to how certain you are, and that's why I make these videos. If you encounter this sort of scenario in a game of Commander and a player explains their logic, it plants a seed into your mind and now you're a little unsure. It happens all the time, but of course there are a ton of rules in the comprehensive rules that can help us to figure out what will really happen here. So let's take a look. In Magic, luckily there is a section of the Comprehensive Rules dedicated to continuous effects called the Layers System. And it is a pretty complicated yet also pretty straightforward system so that we can figure out situations like this. So CR 611.2a says that a continuous effect generated by the resolution of a spell or ability lasts as long as stated by the spell or ability creating it, such as until end of turn. If no duration is stated, it lasts until the end of the game. So Act of Treason has a pretty obvious continuous effect that it applies, actually it applies too, but the one that we care about here is the control effect, and it clearly states that it happens until end of turn. Modify Memory is a tad trickier. It doesn't explicitly say you gain control of target creature, nor does it state a duration for the continuous effect. The duration is easy though, as 611.2a told us that if no duration is provided, then it is until the end of the game. So let's check out what the actual ruling on exchange is. CR 701.10b is the rule that covers this, and it says, when control of two permanents is exchanged, if those permanents are controlled by different players, each of those players simultaneously gains control of the permanent that was controlled by the other player. If, on the other hand, those permanents are controlled by the same player, the exchange effect does nothing. And in that rule, we now see the specific wording of each of those players simultaneously gains control of the permanent, which is similar to the wording that we see on Act of Treason, which says, gain control of. So clearly these effects apply in both of the same layer, which according to CR 613.1b, the control changing effects are applied in layer two. 
This video isn't going to look at other layers, but instead what happens when the two effects are applied in the same layer. In Magic, when two continuous effects happen within the same layer, we look to CR 613.7, which says, Within a layer or sublayer, determining which order effects are applied in is usually done using a timestamp system. An effect with an earlier timestamp is applied before an effect with a later timestamp. Basically, what this whole timestamp thing means is that the later or newest effect will override the previous or earlier effect. But this overriding of the previous effect doesn't mean that the earlier one is deleted, removed, or goes away in any way. It is still there during its duration. So what that means is that when Act of Treason's control effect applies, it will override the control effect applied by the exchange that happened from Modify Memories resolving. And while its timestamp is later and wins, it still has to follow its duration, which is until end of turn. So once we go to the end of turn, that continuous effect from Act of Treason will be removed from the Gear Hulk. And since the other continuous effect from Modify Memory never left the Gear Hulk, it will be the latest control effect in Layer 2, making it the current winner. And so it will indeed go back over to your opponent. Anyhow, that's all I've got for today's episode. As always, I hope that you all found this video to be entertaining at least, and I hope that even a few of you maybe even learned something about the crazy rules of this great game of magic. Have a good one. Ta-ta!